Hi, my name is Patty Piper. I'm a pediatric audiologist at PNCC. Here at PNCC, we have the experience and equipment needed to test the hearing ability of all children from the very newborn babies to the adolescents. We use a variety of testing techniques depending on the age of the child, their hearing concerns, and their ability to cooperate with testing. For the newborns, or the babies who fail the newborn hearing screening in the hospital, we test their ears with otoacoustic emissions, or OAEs. This just tests the hair cell function inside the inner ear. Sometimes we also test their hearing using auditory brain stem or bare ABR response testing. This measures their brain waves in response to sound. We put electrodes on their skin, measure the brain response, and we can tell what they hear. This is perfect for the little ones who probably won't raise their hand when they hear the beep, beep, beep sound. For the older children, about seven to eight months old, we test their hearing in a sound booth. We typically sit on mom and dad's lap, we present sounds to the speakers or maybe through insert earphones. When they hear the sound, they turn to find it, and then we light up toys that play drums um, to sort of reinforce their listening. And the older children, about two and a half to four years old, they get to play what we call condition play audiometry, where they put the headphones on, they hold a block up to their ear, and every time they hear the beep, beep, beep sound, they get to throw the block in the bucket. This is a great, fun game for most uh, preschool children. We also try to test their word discrimination ability by having them point to pictures in the book, airplane, cowboy, hot dog, things like that. Um, for all children, we test tympanometry, which measures middle ear function, making sure the child doesn't have any fluid, infection, or pressure behind the eardrum. This requires a small plastic probe to sit in their ear canal, and it's very quick and painless. We also have the ability to test for auditory processing disorders for children older than seven years old. This is for children who have normal hearing, but sometimes can't hear in background noise. They have a lot of difficulty remembering verbal directions in order, and they just act like they can't hear you. This testing is very comprehensive and takes about four hours to complete. If and when we diagnose a child with a hearing loss, we determine the type and degree of hearing loss and make the appropriate recommendations. We work closely with early intervention, local school districts, and Portland area ear, nose, and throat doctors to ensure that your child receives the best possible follow-up care. Remember, no child is ever too young to have his or her hearing tested.